Welcome everybody, my name is Tim Sandy. I'm a Cohesity Systems Engineer. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect to Microsoft 365 as a source and how to create a protection job and also how to do recoveries for both your Office 365 mailboxes as well as OneDrive. So also just to set the stage, this is a uh, test demo environment, and this is for our version 6.5.1 alpha. So from the dashboard, I'm gonna click on data protection and then go to sources. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna register Office 365. So we're gonna click on this plus sign here, and then we're gonna select Office 365. And as an admin, you're gonna have all this associated information related to your administrative accounts to be able to access it. So I'm gonna put in our particular information here, app ID, your app security key, and then I'm gonna click register. Then as you see, we've registered Office 365 as a source. So if I go in and I click within here, uh, we don't have any protected jobs yet, obviously, because we just created the source. Then when we look at all objects, here are all the mailboxes that are in this particular Office 365 subscription. And what we're going to do is we're only going to, in this example, back up certain particular mailboxes. But again, these are all listed in here. So now we'll go back to data protection. And this time we're gonna create a protection job for the particular mailboxes that we're looking to protect in that Office 365 instance. So again, click the plus sign. We are going to create a protection job, Office 365, and for Exchange specifically for the mailboxes. And we're gonna select that register source that we just registered. And in here, I'm gonna, I'm looking for particular accounts. So I'm gonna do this. And I wanna do this 03-1 and dash two. I wanna protect both of those. So being that those are the only ones after the search, I can just click up there and click Save Selection. I'm gonna create a protection group name for it. So I'm gonna give that Microsoft 365 Exchange. For the policy, I'm just gonna click one of our predefined policies, which is uh, the gold. And I'm gonna keep all the default settings, but as you see in here, there are other settings that you can set for QS policy and end date, exclusions, priority, what your SLA uh, timeframe is, the description, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna click protect. So that protection job is going to start running. That'll take a minute to run. Now we can go ahead and click in the Microsoft 365 protection job. We see we have an audit trail setting. We have just the general settings for this. Also consumption and trend. But since this is the first time, there's not gonna be any particular information in there. As you can see, it's kicked off. We can go ahead and also click directly in the job and we can see the individual tasks that are going on here related to them. We can click within each one of those to also get the individual details on what's happening with each one of those. So we're gonna give that a second to finish. We're gonna go back. As you can see, the backup jobs have finished and then we can go to indexing and we can see the indexing is still going on here. So it's not quite done yet. Okay, now you see that the indexing task has completed. So if we back up, we can see that the protection job has completed. So now let's do recovery of the mailbox. So we're gonna to go to recoveries in the left-hand navigation pane. As you can see, I've done some already. Hit the plus sign again. Office 365, and this is gonna be for mailboxes and not for OneDrive, so it's gonna be mailboxes. And here you can search for a particular user. So I'm gonna search for this user 03-1. I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna click continue. As you can see, we're recovering 03-1. Recovery point, it's gonna take the the latest and greatest one, but if we had multiple protection jobs, we would have multiple snapshot point in time that we could select. But like I said, in this case, we've only got one so far. 
Here we can recover this mailbox uh, to an alternate location rather back to the original one. So I'm going to click the Office 365 server and then I'm going to select the particular user which is 03-2 and I'm just going to leave that recovery folder there the same name and then I'm going to say start recovery. So we can look at the subtasks here to see what's going on and we can watch that. And we'll give that a second to complete. Okay, now that that recovery job has completed, uh, we'll go ahead and go over the mailbox. We're going to refresh this real quick. So we're in the 03-02's account, and we recovered 01's mailbox to this account here. And here is the recovery of the 031 account, as you can see here. So we were able to successfully recover that into somebody else's mailbox. So again, we're in 03-02 user account. And in their user account here, you can see that they've got some emails. Let's go ahead and we're gonna delete in 0302's account this email number one. So we are going to delete that from there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna recover that. So again, back to recoveries, gonna hit the plus sign Office 365. Again, we're doing a mailbox, not OneDrive. In this case, we can do email, not the whole mailbox. So it'll be a little quicker and easier. But what we're going to do is we're going to put in who the email was from and who it was to, as well as the subject line. And we're going to click search. So because I had run this several times, uh, there are a bunch of instances of this. Let's go ahead and do the most recent one. We'll just click this first one here. We'll click continue. This time we're going to go ahead and uh, recover it back to the original location. So we're not going to select that box and we're going to do click recovery. And we're going to give that a second to run. We now see that the recovery job has finished successfully. We'll go over the mailbox and click refresh. So now that the recovery is done, let's go over to the mailbox. And as you will see, we now have that email number one, which has been restored successfully. So now let's go back over to the Coecity interface and we're going to go back to protection. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a protection job for the OneDrive. So we just did it for the mailbox, but let's do it for the OneDrive. So again, click the plus symbol, Office 365, and this time we're going to select OneDrive. We're going to select our register source, which again is that Microsoft 365. And as you can see here, we have the list of all the users in that account. So again, I'm going to do a quick search to make it a little easier. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back up both the one drives for both of these users. So I'm going to click save selection. And in this new group, I'm going to call it Microsoft 365 OneDrive. Policy, I'm going to select the bronze. Again, you have your additional settings that you can set here as we showed earlier. And then we're going to click protect and we're going to let that run. And just like before, we can click into the protection job and see the actual run itself. And we can click inside of that. We can see it's doing the backup function right now. We can click inside each one of these to get the detailed tasks for each one. And once the backup is done, it'll then do the indexing as well. And we're just going to go ahead and let that finish up. And that shows as being protected now. So that has finished. So let's go to recoveries and we're going to recover a OneDrive. So again, we're going to hit the plus line, Office 365. This time we're going to select OneDrives. And we're going to look for a particular user. So that's going to be that 03-1. We're going to select that particular user, do the latest one, and click Continue. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to recover the OneDrive to a different location. So we're going to select that server again. And we're currently doing the recovery of user 03-1. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to 03-2 and recover it to there. And we'll leave that name the same and we'll start the recovery. And again, that'll start running. As it's running, you can go into the details. We're going to go ahead and let that finish. 
As we see, this recovery has finished now of that OneDrive. So let's go back over to user account 03-2, it's OneDrive. And here it is. And as you can see, here is the recovered folders. We can click on that, click in there, and we can see there's three subfolders in here with some files in it. So we looked in and we see that we have the recovery folder here that we just restored. We can click in there and you can see that there's the recovered user and their folders. Now we're in again 03-2's account. Go to my files. They have these same folders. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into folder one and we're going to click on this file here and we are going to delete that file. And then what we're going to do is go back. We're going to do again back in recoveries. We're going to recover Office 365, OneDrive. This time we're going to do a browse and recover for 03-2's account. Go ahead and select that. And then here, because we're doing a browse and recover, it, it, we're actually browsing the file system. So again, we were in folder 01, and it was this file01.txt that we deleted. So we're going to add that to the cart. We're going to save. Then we're going to continue. And then we're going to start the recovery. And we're going to let that recovery kick off real quick. And it should only take a second to do that. And as you can see, it's now done. Let's go back over to that folder and then boom, there we go. We just recovered that file back to the original location. So in this video, I went through, we went under data protection, went to sources. We connected to our Office 365 as a source to create that. Then what we did is we created a protection job for the uh, Office 365 mailbox rather right here. And we did it just for those two users. And again, we can click in here, we can go to settings and we can see all the uh, details of this, uh, which accounts were in there and all the different various settings. We then did a recovery of a mailbox as well as recovering of a specific individual email. Then we went in and we created a protection job for OneDrive itself for those particular two users, created that protection job, ran the protection job. We then did a recovery of the entire OneDrive for the user. Then we did went in and deleted a file from user 03-2, and then we recovered it back to the original location and recovered that file. So that pretty much sums up backing up your Office 365 mailboxes and OneDrive. That's pretty much it. There's not much more to it. It's pretty straightforward and simple. It's not any different really than backing up a VM or a file or anything like that, that you'd be doing in the Koisi interface. It's just you're picking a different source. There's uh, some few other little minor user interface differences to select the user or the drive and maybe browse. But essentially the process of connecting to the source, creating protection jobs, doing a recovery of them is pretty much all the same for everything across the board within the Koisi interface. So hopefully that gives you a nice summary of how we do the protection of Office 365 mailboxes in OneDrive. Thank you for watching and have a great day.